Hello everyone out there in YouTube world, Facebook world, social media world, the world, wherever you find yourself watching this video today. I am your host as always, Musings with MGL, uh, bringing you another edition of riveting uh, legal stuff, uh, firearm stuff, uh, conservative stuff, etc., etc. Today I'm going to do a video on some interesting crime statistics that were just released recently by the FBI uh, concerning violence in America. Uh, before I get into it, if you could do me a favor and smash that like button down below, it really helps the, uh, the channel grow. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Please share, comment, recommend all your friends. I'm getting really close to 1,000 subscribers. It would be really great if I can get to that uh, before the end of the year. When you hit 1,000 subscribers, you can start getting some of that sweet, sweet, sweet ad money from uh, YouTube, although I'm not sure if they'll approve me because of my content, but I'll give it a shot anyway. But it'd be really cool to get to a thousand subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do. So today I'm going to talk about some crime statistics that were released recently from the FBI. And I'm going to get it basically from an article here brought to us by our friends over at Breitbart. Headline, FBI, over 3.5 times more people killed with knives than rifles of any kind. So... FBI data released Monday and the Uniform Crime Report show over three and a half times as many people were stabbed to death in 2020 than were killed with all kinds of rifles combined. Think about that again. I'm not just talking about the, quote, assault rifles that everybody talks about, but it's all rifles combined. The Uniform Crime Report shows that 454 people were shot and killed with rifles in 2020, while 1,723 were stabbed or hacked to death with knives or cutting instruments. I think if I had to choose between rather getting shot to death or hacked to death, I'd probably go with uh, being shot by a high power rifle, but that's just me. Um, Breitbart News reported that the previous Uniform Crime Report release showed over four times as many people were stabbed to death in 2019 than were killed with rifles of all kinds. The exact figures for 2019 were 375 killed with rifles, while 1,525 were shot to death with, or stabbed to death with knives or cutting instruments. So, why do we talk about this? Well, obviously, it's because we are constantly hounded and being told by the left and the anti gun people that we have to do something about these assault rifles, that they're so dangerous, that they're so deadly, like the most, most deadly thing ever invented, basically, in the history of inventions were these assault rifles, and we need to ban them. And, uh, you know, hell yes, we're going to come take them from you because they're so dangerous and they kill so many people. However, obviously, the statistics don't bear that out. Rifles, we, and we've known this for a while, those of us who are gun people have known for a while that rifles are used far less in essentially any crime in America than almost anything else. I mean, 434 people were killed by all rifles of all kind. That doesn't, again, even include the, the crazy assault rifles. It could include uh, shotguns. It can include... Hunting rifles, lever action rifles, whatever you want to call it, just rifles in general. So the assault rifle, quote unquote, would actually be less than the 434 people uh, that were killed, 454 people that were killed. And then 2019, it was 375. So that's even a subset of the subset of those people. So a vast, vast, vast majority of people in this country are killed by weapons other than uh, rifles, uh, weapons other than firearms, as evidenced by the knives and the hacking here. Yet all we ever hear about is we got to get rid of these dreaded assault rifles. So it's just clear that once again, uh, the science, these are the people that like to follow the science, the science and the agenda don't match the facts. And it's very important when you're going to be either arguing or debating these people when you throw these out there because they're your common person out there just assumes that these assault rifles uh, commit most of the shootings when it comes to firearms because that's all they see in the news, right? All you ever see are these, quote, mass shootings when they get carried out by an AR-15. If they get carried out by anything other than an AR-15, you don't hear about the story. I mean, you also don't hear about it if they're not carried out by a white guy with a Trump hat. But essentially, if they're not carried out with an AR-15, if they're done with handguns, you never hear about it. When you, Once again, everybody harps on this, but when you talk about Chicago, the majority of people there are killed with handguns. They're not using uh, assault weapons in their gang wars and drug wars that are going on up there they're usually mostly handguns or regular rifles that you get uh, from from regular stores or, or from other drug dealers they're not the assault weapon style 
uh, rifles. So your average person, though, out on the street just assumes that most of the shootings are done with these uh, AR-15s and these, these, quote, assault rifles because that's all you hear in the news. Whenever there's a mass shooting, if it's used with an assault rifle, they obviously go crazy over it. They harp on it over and over again. And then you get the politicians that want to ban them or whatever. So the assault rifle has this misperception of being used in a huge number of shootings. So it's very important to learn these facts. Now, facts are a tricky thing because some people on the left, especially anti-gun robbers, they don't care about the facts. It's all about emotion to them. But you really can't defeat an emotional argument uh, when it comes to you know kids getting shot at schools or whatever. They're always probably going to win that argument. So the only thing you can fight them back with is facts. And so if you're ever debating somebody or uh, talking to somebody about it and they want to keep saying these things are dangerous, they need to be taken off the street, statistics are a great weapon because when you throw these numbers back out at them, they don't have an answer for it. It's happened to me at some debates that I've been to um, where somebody throws that out and I throw out the numbers just like this and they, they don't have an answer for that. They either don't believe me and then I point out that, well, it's coming from the FBI. It's not coming from me. So they either don't believe me or they just don't care. And they think that that's, that's enough. You know, oh, 432 people and even less than that. Well, it's enough if we can just save those, those people. But they don't want to have the same rules when it comes to knives and stuff like that. So uh, arm yourself with the facts is the moral of the story here today. This is a, up on Breitbart. If you want to go to Breitbart and just Google it, uh, you can find the article there. And again, it comes from the Uniform Crime Report, which is from the FBI. So these are the government statistics about what's going on here. They're not made up by the NRA or some pro-gun or right-wing organization. So do your research, learn your facts, know your numbers, and then next time somebody wants to tell you that these, uh, quote, scary assault rifles uh, need to be banned because they're dangerous and they kill a whole bunch of people, point out to them that they killed less than 454 in all of last year and over, what, 1,200 or what I say, 1,732 people were stabbed or hacked to death. And so ask them if they'd rather be stabbed or hacked to death because my guess is their answer is going to be no. So thanks for watching. Quick little video here today about some stats. Um, keep up the vigilance out there. Again, like, subscribe, share if you could. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy. And if you can, you should carry on. And watch out for those knives.